Hey, I'm Srini. I'm the host and co-founder of Blogcast FM. I'd like to welcome you back to part four of five of this five-part series on relationship marketing. You'll notice, actually, if you look to the right, that I've also added a playlist, so you can actually go back and see the previous videos in the series from the playlist. And before we get into today's concepts, I just want to review a few of the things that we talked about yesterday. One of the key things we spoke about was working with other people to create things. For example, creating an ebook with 15 or 16 different other bloggers. Today, I want to talk about finding the right people and what you have to look for. One of the things that's really important is finding people with skill sets that complement the ones you have, not the exact ones you have. You know, one of the tendencies we all have is to find people who are just like us. We're drawn to them, and it's all well and good when you want to make friends, but what you need to do is figure out who can compensate for your weaknesses who happen to, with people who also happen to be your friends. And I'll share an example from my own life. Most of you may or may not know about my business partner, David Crandall. He actually does all the design work at Blogcast FM. He's the one who designed the website. He's the editor-in-chief of Look Magazine. And he really makes things look beautiful. So a shout out to David for that. But the thing is, I come up with a lot of the content concepts. And they wouldn't be nearly as well executed if I didn't have David to filter them through and to have him really make it look better than I could ever make it look on my own. So when you look for people to collaborate with, especially when you're looking at something like putting together an ebook, make sure you look for people who will bring skills to the table that you need in order to get that project done. The next idea that I want to share with you is something that I have found to be really, really valuable uh, over the last couple of years, and that is the idea of introductions and referrals. One of the things that I made a point to do was introduce people who would benefit from knowing each other. So introduce two people to each other who would get some benefit from knowing each other. And interestingly enough, again, this goes back to you becoming a connector. And the other part of this, will go back. To, it goes back to that whole idea of compounding. The more often you do this, the more connected you become. And you become known as a connector of people. And you will become a resource for a lot of people when people need to find things. The, and that can also lead to other things. You may end up collaborating with those people. You may end up doing business with those people. The other idea I want to share with you is the idea of introducing people to your network. Uh, many of you have probably seen Follow Friday on Twitter. And one of the things that a lot of people do is they will actually group a bunch of people and say, follow all these people. And I don't think that's a very effective strategy because how many followers are you really going to get when it's just a bunch of at symbols and you don't know why you should follow that person? In fact, I have to give credit to Scott Stratton from Unmarketing uh, for this idea because he said when you do a Follow Friday, you should mention why you should follow that person. So don't just say Follow Friday at, 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 at. Instead, say Follow Friday one person and talk about why. You're much more likely to drive followers to that person. Now, imagine if we did this every day. Five days a week, you introduce somebody to your network. Forget Follow Friday. How about Follow Every Day? Why don't we start a new hashtag? I'm going to encourage you to do that. So this has been part four of this five-part series on relationship marketing. If you want a more in-depth exploration of these ideas, as I've mentioned in previous videos, you can get my ebook on relationship marketing for bloggers, which I'll include a link to below in the show notes. Come back tomorrow for part five where we'll wrap up everything and talk about how to turn all of this into dollars.